All right, round three, we've got the choice we'll play first, and uh, we're going to keep it. It's a little land heavy, but uh, sand seems okay. It's not great. It's expensive, but we've also got Scout the Borders and Bitter Re Revelation in this deck. We haven't seen the Scout the Borders yet, but that would certainly make this hand uh, much better. Set us up for a nice early shambling attendance, as well as potentially find us another creature. Or a blue source. Hmm. It's a little bit concerning. Hmm. Guess I'd eventually like to get this online, so no reason to attack yet. <clears throat> I don't want to trade my morph for his morph. Like he doesn't want to trade either. All right, that's probably worth a murderous cut. There's our blue source. Kind of need that for the unmorphing. So I'm gonna play it this turn, and then we'll pass. Um, we could potentially get that surprise block on Alabaster Kieran the next turn. Which is definitely good. All right, it's a lot of board presence, but we'll accept. Jeez, it's a lot of good stuff. It's gonna be tough to keep up with. Scavenger, which I can cast. Uh, kind of want to unmorph, but he's got too much board presence now, so I think we actually just hard cast the scavenger. As much as I'd like to get that surprise block on the Kirin, he's just got a bajillion other attackers currently, so. Let's get that dude out there, and we'll pass. This would be a pretty rough turn to get Rush of Battled. Everything? That sounds really bad. 
Well, not leaving me much options here. All right, well, I guess at least we made the trade. All right, so I took a bunch of damage. Now I think we just... Uh, well, I guess I can get the attendants out there. I don't have to bust the murderous cut yet. It's not bad. I like playing the attendants here. Just try and hold down the uh, the old fort, the old proverbial fort for a little bit here. I guess I, you know, I'd rather murder his cut the herald. That thing's just going to be spitting dudes out all day. All right, <clears throat> keeping busy with that. No attacks. And uh, wind scout, all right. So now I kinda wanna leave up the unmorph, ooh. Savage Punch is kind of good, too. Let's, uh... I think I have enough resources, don't I, to savagely punch... Yeah, let's Savage Punch the Herald. Take care of that, dude. Let's play an Ancestor. And let's leave back the Morph to block his Wind Scout. For the ultimate blowout. I mean, I could have gotten in with my Abomination, but I think hitting the Wind Scout here is pretty good. You could also not attack, but, I mean, I, I guess I am telegraphing. I'm leaving up five mana. It's exactly Abomination's <laughs> um, cost, so I, I guess I'm more playing... I want to see uh, how connected he is with the format, basically. This is a test for my opponent. pretty harsh. Got us pretty good there. Ooh, scout, huh? Let's do that first and foremost. Hopefully find a nice creature. I'd settle for a uh, scavenger. Hmm. Well, you wanna do that to me, huh? Well, I got better. I got an idea. How about I do not? It's 
Stubborn Denial. Very rare. Ooh. So what do I like more? Uh, Death Dealer looks pretty insane. Pine Walker's a big dude. Uh, is Death Dealer better? Which one's better? I guess Death Dealer regens. Pine Walker's just a big boy. Death Dealer's more mana investment, but potentially more damage, and I can regen it. That's tough. I actually don't know which one I like more. I think I'm going to go Death Dealer because of the regen? I don't know if that's right. I'm actually unsure. Let's get in with our attendance here, though. I guess he can crack back with everything. I can block the Horde Chief, just take one extra damage. Yeah, it's worth it. We got to get some damage in there. I can't really afford to hold back because we got this wind scout I got to deal with. I mean, I guess we have Abomination now, but I can turn the tide if I can get this Death Dealer down. So we took one extra damage to deal three damage to him. Might seem a little bit risky, but whatever. Warden of the Eye getting back Crippling Chill. It's my assumption. It's a safe assumption. All right, Bondkin as well as Death Dealer. Um, what's the deal? What is the deal? I think we... Hmm. I can play two creatures. So I could swing with both dudes. And then follow up with two more creatures. So even his crippling chill can only lock down my death dealer or the bondkin. I still have decent blocks. But the warden of the eye, I guess, is a bit of an issue. I can play, I can hard cast bondkin as well as play death dealer. But then I can't pump my death dealer. I basically have to force him to use crippling chill on the abomination, I think. So, I believe it's better to just swing Attendance, play Bonkin Morph, Death Dealer, pass. He uses Crippling Chill on Abomination, gets in for three. Otherwise, I, I just get attacked for stuff that I can't block very well, I think. So, we just get in attendance. Force him to use the Crippling Chill on the Abomination. Play a Death Dealer. Could I, I, I could just hard cast the Bonkin now. That's not bad.
All right, use the crippling chill on the target. We basically wanted him to use it on, or not wanted. I prefer if he didn't have crippling chill, but expected him to use it on. Oh, all right. Well, that's just going to be lethal. That's a tough loss. Well, I hope we can take this match. Certainly don't want to go 1 2 with this awesome deck. Oh, I guess we're not quite dead yet. We're just mostly dead. So, maybe here. This thing, I guess. And I have the chump. Ooh. Well, we almost drew our way out of it. Not quite. Really weird that he played the tapped land. Uh, so, got thoroughly beat down. What do I do against this deck? How do I prevent from getting my face stepped on? What can I do? So, he's got some flyers. I've got a lot of removal. Uh, is Bloodsucker decent in this match? Maybe, probably not. Mm. Think we just keep it the same? Hope we draw better? Does that sound good to everybody? I'm not really seeing anything I care about. Alright, well, we got an uphill battle now. Uh, this is fine. Is it even worth outlasting here? Doesn't seem like it. Although, oh. Well, then I can attack into Morph, I guess. Ah, Alright, whatever. I'll do it. Taking two damage. But I guess I got nothing better to do this turn. So, still need a blue source, so we can eventually get to that River Wheel Aerialist point. Oh, that was a good draw. All right, so now we get in for two. Drop the Tusk Guard Captain and pass. All right.
Uh, it's not a bad draw. I think we just get in for two. Drop our Pine Walker, morphed, and then pass. Hope to draw on a land next turn. And we can unmorph for some potentially good value. Otherwise, I may have to bitterly revelate. Uh, all right. I just want to get the land. I'm, uh, well, <laughs> ask and ye shall receive. Just not what I wanted. Not the right land, but that's all right. Uh, so what do we want to get? We don't need any more lands after this backwater, so let's just get some nice creatures going. Always disappointed to get thoroughly beat down by a wetland sandbar. <laughs> Never good, folks. Never good. Getting back, burn away, I imagine. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's not good. Doesn't do anything. No. Can't do that. That doesn't seem good. What seems good? What seems good? I actually don't know. Nothing seems good, actually. It all seems really terrible. All of my plays seem bad right now. Can't really progress the board. I can hard cast a Ripper plus morph this. Hopefully chooses incorrectly on our morph. So I guess I swing with Pine Walker. I guess we drop Ripper hard cast. Plus morph Bondkin. And then pass. Hmm, I guess he doesn't have burn away mana up. Wish I had more mana. Um, what do I do? Anybody know? Someone want to write in and tell me what I do here?
Can't cast, can't cast. Can cast. Can cast. Can cast for no good value. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Swing with... Can't swing with both morphs, because he just blocks both, and I can only get one out. He also has burn away. He's got a million cards in hand. So, swing with one morph is the plan. Um... Drop Ancestor. Potentially Icy Blast if he has Rush of Battle? I guess that's the plan. Take two... Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Let's see if we've got... Murderous Cut, not bad. So I can cast that for... Two mana? So that means I can still Icy Blast two creatures, potentially. Or I can try and Savage Punch something now, if I... If I dare. Uh, no, I think we just... See if he's got the rush of battle, in which case I Icy Blast. Um, if he just attacks with Kirin, I Murderous Cut. Basically, I'm hoping, I guess, that he rush of battles here. But it doesn't appear that he is. So we'll just... Uh, leave up one for Stubborn Denial. Alright. I think I should write that if I can get a mana. And a morph. Alright. Can't do much. There's our sixth land, so I guess we can kill the Wind Scout. Can also play the Aerialist, but he has Burn Away. Um, still very, very hurt by Rush of Battle, but I can't do anything about it. I guess we just write the Flyer and then pass. So he just wants raid. All right, rush of battle, getting more and more deadly. Guess I have to drop the area list. Oh no. Well, I wish I could do something about rush of battle, but I cannot. I cannot. And he's got all these Horde Chiefs. This is terrible. Can't even Savage Punch for any value at all. Jeez. Still just short on mana to do anything I want to do.
So he just burns that away, swings team. I have awful blocks. I think we're just dead. <laughs> this is an awful game. Uh, so I loved our deck. I hated the performance. Wow. We performed much worse than I thought we would. I loved this deck, too. This is probably one of my best decks I've had, and we just went 1-2 with it. Uh, I know I'm preemptively saying that, but we already know what is in his hand, so he just kills us and swings with a million things. Even if he doesn't have the rush of battle, he's just thoroughly beating our face in. And I'm sitting here on cards that are, I guess, lackluster in our deck? I thought they were good. It's just seemed to be seemed to have trouble drawing lands. I don't know. Or we saw too many expensive things early? I don't know what the problem was. We just really did not perform well at all. I mean, Rush of Battle or Burn Away just do horrendously bad things to us. So just based on what we already know he has, we're in, we're in horrible shape here. And he had the rush of battle. Yeah, we're, we're just thoroughly crushed. Wow. It's a horrible match. I was very upset by this. Wish I could do something. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're just dead. We're just straight up dead. Can't do a single thing. That was awful. Uh, so, pretty upset with our performance. Wish we could have done much better. But we didn't. Did really bad. Lost. We're dead, right? I mean, we're just super dead. I'm just blocking how I guess I would have blocked. Yeah, we're just super dead. Wow, that was harsh. Really upset with how uh, bad our, our deck did. It looked great. I loved our deck. It's probably one of the better decks I've played in the entire format. And we just went 1-2 with it. So snap my fingers, say gosh darn it, and uh, move on to the next draft. And forget this ever happened. All right, we'll see you for the next one.